First of all, Charlie was a planned baby. What was I? Well, yeah, you were a picture of margaritas in a gas station condom. I'm sorry, who are you? Well, Marty Pliskin, president and CEO of Fluffy Bunny Records. And you are? Uh, Alan, Charlie's brother. Oh, you're the sponge. <laughs> Pleasure. Hi. So sorry to hear about your troubles. Troubles? What troubles? Oh, maybe I have it wrong. Charlie, didn't you tell me he was divorced, broke, and living on your couch? <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> Well, I am going through a bit of a, a rough patch, but I, I try not to think about it too much. Oh, good for you. Mm -hmm. I'd be suicidal. You hear that? You have options. Uh, Alberta, why don't you get the ball rolling? Sure. What the hell? <laughs> Zippy, I gotta tell you, when you first moved in, I didn't really care for you. <laughs> You were a persnickety, self-righteous, smug son of a bitch. <laughs> and now, here we are, six years later. Thank you. You're here. Oh, okay. Anyone else? Alan, darling, you were always the good son. Of course, your brother didn't set the bar very high. <laughs> Wait a minute. Charlie, do you want to say anything? Uh, all right. <clears throat> Ellen, you're my little brother. And I know over the years I've tormented you. I've embarrassed you in public. I've tied you to street lights, car bumpers, the occasional angry animal. <laughs> oh, remember that 4th of July when I used your ass as a launch pad for my bottle rockets? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I guess what I'm trying to say is thanks for the memories. Don't be alarmed. Uh, I was just leaving. Uh, there's, there's certainly no reason to feel threatened. Good skunk. Nice skunk. Ah! Bad skunk! No, no, you, you don't understand. I, I just couldn't sleep. Release the dogs. Dog, dogs? No. No, no dogs. All right, all right, I'm coming. be good. <laughs> hey, it is good. Charlie, tell them who I am. I'm sorry, who are you? <laughs> Charlie, if you don't tell them who I am, they're gonna take me to jail. Why do you keep calling me Charlie? <laughs> Sir, is this man living here or not? Define living. <laughs> Charlie, I swear on my son's life. Yeah, he lives here. I told you, I've got your badge numbers. I am going to write a scathing letter to the judge. Thank you, officers. You are a credit to the Malibu community. You have a nice evening. At least this clown didn't ask if I was... Walden, do not make me turn that gate on. What, what does that mean? Turn the gate on. Don't worry, she's bluffing. <laughs> doing in jail all right all right i'm on my way what do you think i was gonna save it for our wedding night but i couldn't wait oh baby by the time we get married that thing's gonna be half eaten <laughs> who's on the phone alan everything all right yeah i was just calling to say he wouldn't be home tonight oh did he get lucky not yet Night is still young. You said you'd be right there. Look, look, I understand your anger, but you gotta see it from my side. What's your side? 
I get really sleepy after sex. What's going on? Oh, your gallant fiancé let his baby brother rot in a prison cell all night. Regardless, it was just one night. Nobody took your man, Cherry, did they? Was that why Alan called last night? Uh, I assume so. Oh, Charlie. Hey, hey, you had that sexy lingerie on and you were so beautiful. Plus, you know how I hate to waste an erection? Okay, well, I got some good news for you, Alan. Hey, when's the last time you heard that? Soft and so warm and- Oh! Oh! You sick freak! <laughs> I'm sorry, let me see. <laughs> You Jake's father? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> you don't have to pay me for today. I really thought that- I <laughs> We're on the subject. I was wondering, since you're swimming in, like, monogamy, as it were, would you mind if I, you know, ask Candy out sometime? Go for it. Just want to make sure you're okay with it. No, I'm fine with it. I just don't want you to feel weird. Thanks for your consideration. Morning, Huggy Bear. <laughs> now, now, is it sweetheart, sweetheart, n no offense, but... Since you're dirt poor and living with your brother, one must ask, what kind of woman would agree to marry you? Unless she's a little slow or looking for a green card. Hey, Sippy, what are you doing here? My marriage is over. Candy kicked me out. Damn, that's horrible. Yeah. Damn, damn, damn. Tell me about it. I had October in the pool. <laughs> Pool? What, what, what pool? Me, your brother, your mom, a couple of neighbors had a pool on how long before she dumped your ass. <laughs> I was so close. You were betting that my marriage was gonna fail? No. We were betting on when. <laughs> You're all alone. You're penniless. And you have no prospects. Are we at the silver lining part yet? <laughs> yes. Short of contracting a flesh-eating disease, things couldn't possibly get any worse. <laughs> You've hit rock bottom. You have nowhere to go but up. You know what? You're right. You're self-obsessed, insensitive, and soul-sucking, but you're right. <laughs> I have stared into the abyss. I'm still here. I, I've had my heart shattered, and then, and then shattered again, and I'm still here. I've taken every piece of crap that life could throw at me, and I'm still here. Well, we don't have to turn this into an evening with Liza Minnelli. <laughs> <laughs> now, get washed, get dressed, get on with your life. Okay. And remember, no matter what, I'll always love you. I know. Thanks. No, don't thank me, sweetheart. I'm your mother. I have to love you. Here's your money. Don't ever call me again. Get out. Well, no ambiguity there. Don't forget your brother's CD. Ah! Get out! Oh. Oh, okay. This could help. Oh, go to hell. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? I don't know. Excuse me. Uh, I'd like to say a few words before we fold up the dining room table and commence the square dancing. Alan, you're my son and I love you. But you and I are through. <laughs> Really that stupid? Okay, you're talking to a guy who stuck his penis in a vacuum. <laughs> What's wrong with you? 
Ooh, wait, I keep a list on the fridge. Number one, he's stupid. Number two, smells like mushroom soup. Number three, he dates that desperate chick who... Number four... Guess we're good in bed together. <laughs> True. Although after Alan, anyone was gonna look good. Okay, I will give you like a billion dollars if you never bring that up again. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. So, you're not crazy anymore? I was never actually crazy. No, it's a stress clinic. What's the difference? About $2,500 a week. Alan? Oh, Lindsay, <laughs> sweetheart. Are you a sight for sore eyes? Yeah, it's good to see you too. Oh. Hey, Walden, I think now's the time to tell him. Tell me what? Oh. <laughs> What's so funny? From where I'm standing, everything. I'm sorry you had to find out. Oh, really? Really? How would you have liked me to hear about it? Twitter? Facebook? A singing telegram? ta ra ra boom -dee I banged your girl today, because I'm a billionaire. He really is. He's the best I've ever had. No, you're the best I've ever had. I, it was actually kind of a meet cute. Uh, Lindsay came here to see where you were, and I told her where you were, and then she started to cry. And... I mean, how, how could you do this? How, how could you have an affair while I'm locked up in the booby hatch? I thought it was a stress clinic. Everybody knows what it was! <laughs> I lost my freaking mind! But luckily, now I'm better! So I have the tools to cope with whatever life throws at me! No, Herb, no! Oh, God. <laughs> oh, thank God, I'm still in the loony bin. <laughs> it's a stress clinic. <laughs> What are you doing here? Yeah, I thought you were in the army. Come on, look at me. Do I look like someone who's in the army? <laughs> Not on our side. <laughs> hey, uh, these are pretty cool. Where'd you get them? Target. <laughs> You get it? Because the, there's the circles. Yeah, the no, circles, no, I know. got it. I got it. No, here's the thing. It, it turns out that your Uncle Charlie might still be alive. Oh. That would explain why I got a check for $250,000 and a note that said I'm alive. You have $250,000? Not anymore. I stopped in, in Vegas on the way here. Oh, God. How much do you have left? Two and a half million. Oh. Oh. You won two and a half million dollars? Oh, yeah. It's not that hard. I kept playing craps because, you know, crap. <laughs> oh, and I kept betting on cum because <laughs> you guys... <laughs> wow, it's amazing that you've made so much money with such stupid jokes. 